I'm Gabriel Zuckman. I'm a professor of economics at the University of California, Berkeley. I am Emmanuel Saez, and I'm a professor of economics at the University of California, Berkeley. The wealth tax is a tax on your assets. Assets include both financial and non-financial assets, uh, real estate, housing, uh, portfolios of equities, bonds, and mutual fund shares. That's in contrast to the income tax. Income is the money you make in a given year. Wealth is uh, how much assets you own at the end of the year. The United States has never had uh, a, such a progressive uh, wealth tax, but it has a long experience with property uh, taxes that are non-progressive wealth taxes that are assessed just on the value of the property uh, you own. In contrast, the, the progressive wealth tax takes into account all your wealth and all your debt and then modulates uh, the tax rate based on how much wealth uh, you want. Wealth inequality has increased dramatically in the United States. Today, uh, the share of wealth owned by the top 0.1 richest families is close to 20%. In the late 1970s, early 1980s, that share was less than 10%. There is a concern that with great concentration of wealth, comes, you know, great concentration of power because at the top of the distribution, wealth can effectively be used as a way to influence policy uh, making, lobbying, uh, etc. So to fight, you know, the risk of the American democracy becoming, you know, more of an oligarchy where really the wealthy have the power to influence policy, you may want uh, a wealth tax to uh, reduce concentration at the very top. If you care about wealth inequality, and I think you should care about wealth inequality, then a wealth tax would be the most direct way to limit or even to reduce uh, the concentration of wealth in the US. If you look broadly at the progressivity of the overall tax system, as you go up the income distribution, people pay slightly more as a fraction of, of their income, but that progressivity stops at the very top and actually declines. And the very richest, so take the billionaires in the Forbes 400 list, pay total taxes relative to their true economic income that are less as a rate, you know, than uh, ordinary Americans. And the reason they can pay so little, it's effectively uh, they can avoid realizing income so that their reported income is low relative to their true income. The wealth tax, by directly measuring how much wealth they have, would hit them uh, directly and would restore progressivity at the very top. The main argument uh, that one often hears against wealth taxation is, uh, look, a number of European countries um, have abolished uh, their wealth taxes uh, in recent years. It's important, however, to realize that the European context is very different from the, uh, the American context. The, the arguments against uh, wealth taxation coming from the right is that first, uh, it will never work. Uh, the rich will find ways uh, to uh, avoid hiding their wealth, you know, abroad, offshore, uh, representing their wealth in a way, you know, that the value is uh, well underestimated. And indeed, uh, there is evidence uh, from European countries that the rich have been able to do that when the wealth tax is not well uh, designed. You know, in Europe, there is uh, a lot of tax competition. It's much harder for a small European country like Denmark, which abolished its wealth tax in 1997, or Sweden, which abolished its wealth tax in 2007, to unilaterally tax wealth when other countries, neighboring countries, uh, don't tax wealth. Until recently, there was very little exchange of uh, bank information and more broadly information about wealth across borders. So it was very hard for countries to enforce their wealth taxes. Today in the United States is very different. Concerns about tax competition are much less severe in the US because the US has a citizenship based uh, tax system, which means you cannot avoid the wealth tax or in the income tax by moving abroad unless you renounce US citizenship. And the US today has much more information 
uh, US authorities have much more information about wealth uh, that they already collect or that they could collect uh, to enforce a progressive wealth tax well. However, our uh, analysis shows that how successful the, the wealth tax is, how successful enforcement is, really is a, a policy uh, decision.